AM General has confirmed that the first batch of its newly engineered Joint Light Tactical Vehicle A2, JLTV A2, is set to enter U.S. Army evaluation this week. The announcement came during the Modern Day Marine event in Washington, D.C., on April 29, 2025. According to the company, six units will remain at its South Bend, Indiana facility for initial examination before being integrated with an additional 13 vehicles. In total, 19 units are prepared for an extensive 18-month assessment program. The upgraded JLTV A2, marking a major evolution from the A1 models originally built by Oshkosh Defense, incorporates more than 250 design improvements. These enhancements reflect a comprehensive overhaul aimed at improving survivability, maintainability, and mission adaptability. Testing operations will take place at Aberdeen Proving Ground in Maryland and Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona. This phase marks a significant chapter for AM General, which secured the JLTV production contract in February 2023 after surpassing Oshkosh in the highly contested recompete process. The contract, valued at $8.66 billion, transitions future JLTV production to AM General. The JLTV initiative originated in response to critical vulnerabilities discovered during the Iraq War, where the HMMWV, Humvee, offered inadequate protection against IEDs. Efforts to reinforce Humvees led to mobility and maintenance issues, prompting the U.S. military to acquire MRAPs for better blast defense. However, the MRAP's operational limits, particularly in maneuverability and transport, underscored the need for a balanced solution, leading to the JLTV's creation in 2006. The AIM, a lighter, more mobile platform that offers comprehensive crew protection and deployment flexibility. The program evolved through several competitive phases, starting with a concept refinement review and progressing through technology development, engineering, and manufacturing trials. Major defense firms, including AM General, Lockheed Martin, and General Tactical Vehicles, entered prototype designs. Ultimately, Oshkosh was chosen in 2015 to produce the JLTV A1 after rigorous testing. Over the next seven years, the Army and Marine Corps procured more than 20,000 vehicles, with an eventual joint demand of over 60,000 across all branches. The A1 family features multiple configurations the M1278 for heavy weapons, M1279 for utility, M1280 as a general-purpose variant, and M1281 for direct combat operations. The vehicle has also seen widespread international interest, exported to numerous NATO and allied nations through foreign military sales and commercial partnerships. After AM General secured the new production deal in 2023, Oshkosh filed a protest, which the Government Accountability Office later dismissed. AM General subsequently invested in a 96-acre production facility tailored for JLTV A2 manufacturing. Though initial deliveries were delayed due to protest-related disruptions, supply chain setup, tooling, and manufacturing ramp-up, the company is now on track for full-scale output. Under its current contract, AM General is cleared to manufacture up to 20,682 JLTV A2 vehicles and 9,883 compatible trailers. Once production reaches full capacity, daily output is expected to reach 15 vehicles. Unit cost estimates range between $370,000 and $399,000. The contract also tasks the company with maintenance and sustainment support for both A2 and earlier A1 platforms, with potential A1 retrofits under review. Powering the JLTV A2 is a MY2024 L5P Duramax 6.6L turbocharged diesel engine, developed by DMAX, a General Motors subsidiary. This engine delivers 470 horsepower and 975 lbft of torque, mated to an Allison 2500 SP 6-speed transmission and a Generation 6 control module. Fuel efficiency is reportedly improved by 15%, aided by adjustments to belt-driven systems and an optimized front-end accessory configuration. The new A2 model also features an updated 24-volt lithium-ion battery system replacing the previous dual-lead acid setup, which reduces vehicle weight and lays the groundwork for future hybrid adaptations.
Power distribution is handled by a smart system capable of optimizing energy loads, while an enhanced alternator supports advanced electronics integration. Engineers also rerouted key systems for simplified maintenance and upgraded the harnesses and airline routing. Structural changes include sound dampening enhancements to lower internal and external noise, while the modular base integration kit boosts interior space and simplifies equipment configuration. The cab layout has also been redesigned for improved ergonomics and serviceability. Meeting Marine Corps corrosion resistance standards, critical components now feature coatings tested for durability exceeding 30 years. The JLTV A2 debuted publicly at IDX 2025 in Abu Dhabi, fitted with the Hornet Air Guard RCWS, offering anti drone defense via a specialized sensor array and airburst ammunition. Other versions include general utility and combat support roles, with new models like the utility variant showcased at Eurosatory 2024, equipped with the Defender Medium RCWS by FN Herstal. AM General has confirmed that six allied nations are actively engaged in procurement discussions under the U.S. foreign military sales framework for the JLTVA-2, indicating growing international demand for the enhanced tactical platform.